Hello ladies and gents, welcome on back to Spaceborn 2 and in this episode we are taking on a brand new mission set. That's right, it's called the War Maker. It's two different missions. We're starting to get into a little bit of the spy, espionage kind of stuff. So, if you want to see brand new mission sets, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, let's go. Alrighty folks, so in the last episode, the guy that we're supposed, that's on the Security Council, we're supposed to go have this big meeting with, contacted us on the sly, wants us to come alone to our old base. Now this is brand new content, we'll stuff that De on. just put in. So, let's see what happens next. The surface align process is completed, waiting for the thruster input. And don't worry, I will show you the exact location in one second. Just in case you don't remember. Here's the old hatch. We are in Etox 121, and then we're down here on the parent Brian. Oh, too much. It has been too long since I came down this way. Jeez. Many, many hours in game. All right. Landing gear deployed. Jeez. All right. Yeah, I don't trust this dude, but what can you do? Now we're going to start getting into the shady side, I think, of... It wouldn't be geopolitical. What would you call galactic political? Because geo, I think, would be, you know, planet-wide. This is on a galactic scale, so here we go. I'm glad you've come. Why the secret meeting, Saran? We aren't scheduled for a faction meeting. What's going on? Yes, the faction meeting still stands. But what we need to discuss here in private cannot be spoken of in such an open forum. Consider this a conversation between a potential king and a kingmaker, a candid discussion about the very balance of power in our galaxy. I know we've had our differences, but we must set them aside. The galaxy as it stands is in a troubling stasis. Hold up, did you just like take your gun, uh, your weapon out and swing it at me? Okay, anyways, um, what do you mean by stasis? Both of our time is valuable. Therefore, I will come to the point immediately. In this galaxy, everything running smoothly. Faction trade, profit, growth, all in harmony. But this harmony is decaying our strength. Our armies are weak and inexperienced. You know this best, leading your forces to overpower your superiors with only 20 or 30 pilots. It's this environment of order that's the problem. Weak and experienced, are you suggesting we need to return to a chaos of war? Precisely. Change is needed. If it occurs, our power will grow and reformation within the Council to enforce order becomes possible. That's where you come in, and I'll support you to the very end. From that point on, we'll move together. But to reach there, we must return to the old days of battle. So you want to start a war, but how? Without drawing the attention of the main factions. That's where the independent factions come in. The major factions are leeching off them. If we disrupt the independent factions, it won't draw much attention, but it'll force the main factions into hardship. What we need is to start wars among them. Wars among the independents. How? Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, 
That's who I'm going after now because if I touched one of the big boys, I'd be slapped down. We're way too low a level. Provocation. The relationships between Vur Yokin and Muran Beba are fragile. If these two factions clash, all factions will polarize, leading to chaos. Yokin is devoted to his daughter, and he's long wanted her to take over House Beba. If something happens to her, Yokin will blame Muran Beba. After that, we must provoke Beba. There's a station belonging solely to the Beba dynasty. If we destroy it, Beba will think Yokin took revenge, and things will unravel from there. Maybe these two factions won't go to war directly, but the factions in their spheres of influence will surely start fighting. A domino effect. We just need to push the first stone. Hmm. Yeah. That's always a good question to ask. Because all council members are under radar, constantly monitored and scrutinized. But you, as the leader of WRA, are not. You have the freedom to move without eyes on you. To act without immediate suspicion. It's a risk, I admit. But it's one I believe you can handle. If you are in, I will give you the details. So, if we want to move the game on... We gotta be in to hear the details. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but... Call me strange, but that doesn't sound like an AI-generated voice. I wonder if he got a voice actor or someone to just do this, to read this part of this alien guy. First, we need to deal with Vur Yokun's daughter. She's consistently transporting goods to villages loyal to her house. We've identified a particular village where she'll be vulnerable. This is where you'll need to act, from a distance, using a sniper. I don't need to spell out what must be done. After that, we focus on the Beba station. We can't attack it directly, but containers arrive there daily. One of those containers can house a powerful explosive. Once the ship enters the station, boom. Chaos will ensue, leading to the polarization we need. Yeah. Great. The details are in the log I'm sending you. Ooh, doggy. So we're done with him. So yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, we're going against the establishment, basically. An already set up council that no one can get into. So what do you do? You've got to destabilize things. Am I a fan of the way they're going about it? No. Is that what governments have done since the beginning of time on this planet? Yes. We home humans are assholes. Landing gear retracted. But what can you do? Except go up into orbit and make sure you have a sniper rifle for the mission that we're gonna do next. Cause we gonna get this girl. So here we go, the war maker. Go to the target village. Take out Lady Core. And again, you need a sniper rifle. That's like really the only thing you really need that and make sure that your ship is up to snuff, ready to go. Um, between this video and the last, I ran a bunch of missions to make sure I could upgrade my ship and I loaded up all the weapons on our mothership, our Earth mother mother Earth ship, the capital ship that we have. So not in this video, but next video we'll go over all that. We'll get it all decked out because there's more missions after this, folks. So you want to make sure you like, subscribe. If you haven't already, turn on notifications so you get all the details of all the new content. Alrighty, and we are at the planet car. We just gotta wait for the old drive here to cool off. There we go. Warp drive on and where is she? Oh, she's there she is. Alright, so something to keep in mind. 
when we leave this planet, we are going to be chased. People are going to be pissed. And we're going to have to jump out as quick as possible. So that means as soon as we hit the atmosphere, we need to hit the B button and try and jump. If we don't do it, we have four fighters come at us, kill them. If we don't jump quick enough, same thing. I've noticed with my, uh, whenever I have my little group with me, my alpha squad, it takes longer to fire up the drive. So you'll notice I don't have them with me and I'm not gonna have them with me, even if I have to fight because it, they take longer to fire up my drive. So let's go down and see what's up. Oh yeah, and you wanna approach us a certain way and I'll show you how. You can't just fly right down and shoot the lady. All right, so you're going to want to land your ship over here. If you land it down there, it will set everything off. Oh. Landing gear deployed. There we go. And where is the big rock? There it is. Okay, so we want to go this way. And the problem we're going to have, no matter how good a sniper rifle you have is... You're going to have to get a certain distance close, although I can see her right now. Oh, there she is. Okay, so let's crouch. Oh yeah, stay in place. Thanks. Good job. Clean and quiet. Now let's get away from here without go, 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 giving away go, go, go. our position. Now, before, what I was saying when we first came in, now comes the hard part. Now we have to be ready to jump into outer space or uh Hit our jump drive ASAP. Landing gear retracted. I like to fly out a little bit and we'll go up. All the juice to the engines. Okay. Waiting for the thruster input. Cool, I think we snuck out. If you don't, you will get nailed. If you didn't do what I just did there, you will have a big old fight because I did. Okay. Exiting solar system. But yeah, we had to take the long route, so we'll see if he talks to us. If not, we'll come back when we hit the next mission at the Persona Outpost in Junk Junk Town. Listen closely. For the next phase of our mission is crucial. First, you must head to the Oyalakork Outpost. I have arranged for a military uniform to be waiting for you there. You'll find it inside one of the crates. Put it on, and your identity will be concealed. Once you're disguised, make your way to the Giatus complex, located within the same system. Seek 
out the cargo pilot and inform him of a mix-up with the containers. Your task is to deceive and persuade him to load the rigged container onto the ship. I've taken care of rigging the bomb in the container. The rigged container has the serial code ZR11. You must somehow switch it with the MK01 container, which holds food supplies. How you'll persuade the man to make the switch, I leave to your social skills. Use your wit and charm, but above all, stay focused on the task at hand. Good luck. Okay, looks like we're being bothered again. Let's see. Oh, the final one. So, as I was making a little bit of money, you can see I've only got 600,000 left. Everybody kept trying to attack me, so I basically, again, after three actions, you can change. Or they ask you for peace. I show this because... It's not good to mix the story missions with things like that. So if you're having the game crash on you a bunch, I've had this problem directly related to it. It's a good idea. Wait, sit for a little bit, maybe run a couple of missions if the game doesn't want to work right. And wait until your faction stuff goes through because we are in uh, Junction. And we just got to hit this outpost real quick and get a cute outfit. Calibration but game's Calibration crashed multiple completed. times so far Waiting. on me, so we'll see if we make it through this part. Early access is a bitch. Sometimes. So every time I've gone to hit to go into this door, it's died. So we'll see here. Landing gear deployed. I think I've already got everything loaded. Yeah, we're good. I'm not going to fly in. I'm just going to try and run. I'm going to do nothing that will make it go wonky on me again. Because I got this to work on my practice save, so I'm not sure... What all I did other one here. Well see if it crashes again. No, it didn't. Alright. Alright, our crate is down there. So that must have been what the bug was that was crashing the game, is it it wanted to do one of those turf war things and it just didn't mesh well with the Um, story mission. All right, let's see if it crashes on the way out. No. All right. So now we just have to head. Let's see. Oh, it's being difficult again. Not let me pull up my stuff. Okay. All right. Oh, come on, game. Landing gear retracted. There we go. Jesus. So we just got to go over there. So one sec. Oh, 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 you guys see that? We're, we're still in our gear, but we're not. Let's see. No, no, we still have our armor. Okay. Well, we don't want to start a fight, that's for sure. This is about espionage. Okay. 
So you need to talk to the guy over here without a gun. Dude, right here. I don't recognize you. Uh, identify yourself. I'm Chef Cora. I've been sent here on an urgent matter. So, yeah, I wouldn't go with that. I'm going to go with what I went with before, so we're a chef. Uh, there's been a mix-up with food containers versus... I need to sit... Yeah, see, the vague stuff's not going to work. I don't think. Yeah, that never works with people. Uh, yeah. Let's go with... Uh, inedible. Yeah, food's expired. A culinary disaster? I don't know much about cooking, but I know I don't want to mess with high-profile events. Are you sure about this switch? Absolutely, sir. The dishes in one are past or prime must be replaced with fresh ones, or people are gonna get the shits. You're right. I don't want that kind of trouble. This is on you. If anything goes wrong, I'm holding you responsible. There you are, sir! Absolutely. All right, make the switch, but do it quickly and don't let this happen again. All right, so that, that's it. We get it. That's it. We get a jet on out of here now. Again, I don't touch anything down here because this is early access. You never know. So many things can break things so easily. But we now need to go back to where we stored our mothership. Because the next set of missions are going to have to do with that. So hold on. We're going to warp away. He'll talk to us. And then that's where we're heading next is our base. Did I have that flame going before we came in? I don't know. Let's DD on out. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. You've done a great job. Now it's my turn to play my role. Just sit back and watch the chaos unfold. And take it. Knock down the first domino. Now we can enjoy watching the rest of them fall. Zima has transmitted a communication. They are requesting a rendezvous within the bounds of the Kid system. Here we go. We shall board our mothership and move there. Yep. And that, my friends, we shall do in the next episode. But as you're playing in this part, you're going to see all kinds of weird faction stuff be popping up. Nothing happened coming here, but we're going to go in and gear deployed. I'm going to show you the toys that I bought from my ship. Nope, oh, there's another one. Oh, Sparky launched an attack on Warren Station located in Marai, owned by House Mimic. The battle continues. Oh. Hmm, hmm. Put you guys, but I do that a lot. I'll land somewhere, not pay attention, and then immediately take off for no freaking reason. Okay, before we do that, we want to go in here. We want to look at our bank because that's where I put all of our toys. You can put six weapons, right, turrets and lasers, into your mothership. They have super big weapons. That I did not buy because those things are expensive. Yeah, I know. It's overloaded. Oh, actually, we need to leave these in here until... I want everything in there. Okay. Alright, so we come over here to our bank. We put everything in. That way. 
when we bring up our mothership here, we can start plunking everything in there. Mother Earth. All right, she has been pulled up. Now we just need to go to wherever. There it is. I want to go to the market. All right, so we're going to throw just those in there. Weapons management. Okay, so. Components. So the things that I did bring over that are going to make a difference. One is going to be speed because this thing moves like a turd, right? It's got 3.7 km versus a 5,022.4. I mean, massive difference there. And then the aim extender will improve all of our aims. Let's see. Where is it? There we go. 4.3 versus a 2.6. And then I'm going to buy more of those. You are going to need these because in the next episode, we are going to get into some shit. All right. Weapon management. Okay. So let's see. The lasers, I guess, in first, and we'll do the secondaries next. Does not have missile slots. Well, at least each one has full BS, right? Full juice. These are all, of course, legendary weapons. All right. So the reason I didn't put shields or anything like that on there, I thought I'd show. I bet you anything. Let's see, right? Yeah. Uh, the way the shield stuff works. Let's see. You can see right here, all it's going to do is add, right, uh, 30,000 to our hole when our hole's already 3,000 something. So I didn't really see a point of putting a shield onto this beast, but let's go grab it. Alrighty, folks, so there we go. We ran two brand new missions for you guys, and we got our Mother Earth ship all geared up for the next big episode where we'll be freaking lighting shit up. So keep your heads down, your Warriors of Doom up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.